this lesson, we explain why soil is so crucial for life and why, and at the same time, is a resource at risk. In our hands, uh, we have a big challenge for protecting soils. They are our future. But why it's important to protect uh, the soil? Let's try to focus on some relevant points. One, we have to remember that without soil, we wouldn't be able to grow any crops or other useful plants, nor support any livestock. Two, soils store and filter water, recycle nutrients and help us to deal with the negative effects of climate change by storing large amounts of carbon. Three, the diversity and the abundance of life that exists within the soil is greater than what is found above, above ground. 30% of world biodiversity live under our feet. 4. Healthy soils are the biggest pharmacy we have for our future. In a spoon of soil, there are more bacteria and funguses than humans on our planet. The soil is alive and its health depends on us. All these benefits provided by the soils are part of the so-called ecosystem services. They represent some of the most important resources we have on our planet. But our soils are at risk. Negative actions such as pollution and bad agricultural practices leave our soils exposed and damaged. Urbanization and infrastructures hurt our soils because they seal them with a permanent cover. When it happens, we lose soil forever together with all the ecosystem services, biodiversity, water storage, carbon stocks, food, they disappear forever. Remember that soil is a very fragile and not renewable resource, not resilient. Do you know how long it takes to generate two five centimeters of soil? More than 500 years. So, Land consumption is a big threat for humankind and even a huge challenge for us as its future depends on our urban planning decisions and our idea of development. In Europe, every year, an amount of land like the city of Berlin is sealed. In Italy, more than 5,000 hectares of fertile soils are lost forever every year. It means two square meters per second. It's up to us to change this direction in a more sustainable one. But how can we do it? Recycling and reusing what exists is the first and probably the best way to protect land and stop sealing any fertile square meter of soil. Our cities are full of free or underused apartments, villas, warehouses, commercial buildings and brownfields. We must reuse them rather than to build new ones. Urban regeneration is a good policy, but only if we take the courage to stop land consumption from now on. Summarizing, in this lesson we have seen how soil is a crucial resource for us and our future. We are consuming it, producing a lot of negative effects. It's up to us to boost our urban agenda, stopping land consumption. This is the urgent sustainable challenge we can address, if we want. To stop land and soil consumption will permit us to achieve one of the most important sustainable development goals. So, let's talk about soil from now.